Hello everyone, and welcome to Digimon Ghost Game. So we're on a hiatus this week, so we had to come up with something a little different to do. So we are at the, we believe, Pan Ultimate episode. We're right before the end, and we know so much about what two main things are. The main villain, and this voice we keep hearing about telling people to leave. So we decided to come together and try and figure out what the heck is it. Is it going to be something out of left field? Is it something we know and can figure out? Well, dive in with us and maybe we'll figure it out. <laughs> I bet you one of our guesses will be correct. <laughs> maybe. I guarantee no such thing. No. So, what, which one do we want to start with first? The voice or the villain? Oh, the voice. Alright. So we've had this voice they've talked about many times. Now... A voice that, you know, has supposedly been sending Digimon over that Lilithmon founded Vexing. And, yes. And Kazuhamon are the main two we keep hearing about mention it. But later we heard people in the community also saying that it came up. But it wasn't mentioned for the first 50 episodes. Yes. <laughs> so it seems a little sudden. But I guess it's just they decided they need to do some plot. So... What are some ideas of who this benevolent voice could Who's be? this voice that apparently can control gates and tells people to run from the digital world, yeah. Yes. I think we'll start with some of our real far-fetched, kind of, <laughs> <laughs> and work our way towards the ones that actually <laughs> make more sense. Like, one of mine is, is Piro's mom, because we know so little about her, and if Dad is that connected, we would believe she's off on some, you know... <laughs> Doing good missionary work or some yeah, such. Yeah, some sort of, kind of organization that was mentioned once, yeah. Yeah. And she's been in contact with Hero all of once, I think we've heard her on the phone during the Arukenimon episode. Is she doing other things? Probably not. But <laughs> it would be indeed interesting. <laughs> yes, it would. But by that logic, it could be one of the uh, Ruli's parents, too. <laughs> yeah, that'd be even more. <laughs> Out of left field. Uh, I mean, another one that would be kind of out of left field for this season, but not necessarily for other seasons, would be homeostasis. Because many times homeostasis is about trying to keep the balance of the digital world, and if too many were falling to corruption, it would try to at least remove them so no more could be corrupted. You would hope it would be able to do better than <laughs> just remove them, but maybe that was all they had. Available at the time. Again, it's not something that's been at all hinted at, at all mentioned yeah. this season, but it's something that's almost, well, not always, but no, many well, times, close. many times has been around <laughs> in different seasons. And the one we met in the very previous episode, mm -hmm. Loon Lordmon at the end, <laughs> he seems more a guard. Yes. I don't think that is what... <laughs> seems like he's guarding something and or a point. Yeah, so I don't think it is him, but again, it's another possibility. He's tied to the location where we know it's, well, we don't know it's coming from, but the, they pointed at, go to cloud, that's all, yes. that's the nice voice comes from. So again, an idea. Another just sort of left field kind of one would be uh, Rezlemon. Uh, make Crackmon's you know, normal evolution to take a form. She has certain abilities to see the future because she's tied into the kernel panel. Or, now she yeah. usually doesn't open gates per se on her own, but you know if she had enough future sight, she could have been doing this for months, year plus. You think you just ask Pixiemon and he'd tell us, you know, what all this was? <laughs> yeah, what's really cool for him to see? Because he, you know, he should play, shouldn't he be coming on too to see the really cool form that yeah. Gambamon will become? Really cool thing he'll become, yeah. And then. And another one it could be, though we've never heard it speak, is Black Gatomon. <laughs> yes. He's often around but, where gates are open, open, and she's tinkering with stuff, so she seems to know some things about uh, open gates, if nothing else. Yes, though she also seems to be sending many of them back. <laughs> yes, she's been reversing the process many times. <laughs> so, again, not exactly one that brings that it's, you know, for sure... Or that we're not going to have any here that we're really, you know, yeah. for sure that... I wouldn't put money on any of these. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's all said and done. Yeah. 
Well, another uh, possibility, if, if this black gentleman belongs to somebody or his partner, be one of Marie's partners? Yeah, tying into the Lady Devi Manja usually <laughs> as Black Ottoman would make sense. I mean, Mireille has never touched the anime. To this point, no. To this point. But just given the nature of what she is and where she is, her showing up wouldn't be that shocking. No, no. She's none of those people that kind of unfortunately make the, yeah, it's all connected, they're all the same world kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But she just makes it so... Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> I tend to not do like to think of that. Her and Millennium. And one of the ones that, you know, has been around a lot and, you know, wouldn't be completely out of left field would be Ghoulis. Because, I mean, they seem to be building up that he's a bad guy. He's the villain. Let's look back at what he's done. Yeah. He pretty much just defended himself when they attacked him. That's like the worst thing he did. And has deleted really bad Digimon. Yes. Ones that were killing and <laughs> turning people into scarves and <laughs> absorbing into his back and all this stuff. No, he didn't even delete that one. He didn't even delete that one. <laughs> yeah. He came close because it was just a means to an end to talk to, <laughs> get through to Hero, but he's You're... not a nice guy, but he's yeah. not. <laughs> he's not evil. And the spot is appearing on Kano and even the eyes on Sirius Mon's cape last episode, so are they completely two opposite sides of a coin, or are they the same coin, just in different means? It would be weird for them to go such a goody two-shoes route with him after all this, but wouldn't yeah. fully disbelieve it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, as we said, he's not done anything that would says the Scream's villain to this point. Yeah. Just to these bleeding hearts, it seems like a bit. Yeah. All I got for the, 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 the voice. For the voice? Yeah, because we really... As I said, it's even only come up in the last dozen episodes or so. Alright, so let's move on to the big bad. The thing at the end that is going to stop that... Well, is it just the black stain? Is it some amorphous, yeah. unknown non, yeah. thing that, you know, we can't even reason with, just destroy? Oh, that would be... <laughs> that would be pretty lame. I mean, there is cool stuff like the Black Digitron that does this kind of stuff, so, you know, could do something with that, but you got two episodes. You need to... <laughs> yeah. I hope you give me something more than just do bad. <laughs> Again, going from... Less, least likely. I mean, I hope the Justine is <laughs> unlikely. Yeah. W would be something like Yggdrasil. Because homeostasis is trying to do it, and, and Yggdrasil is trying to mess up the world again. Because yes. something went wrong he didn't like, and now he's got to destroy it. Because that's like what he does. <laughs> he just always seems to wind up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He never seems like a good king. No, he what? seems like a pretty uh, angry god. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And, you know, holding himself up in a higher-than-thou castle-floating city while the rest of the world burns. Yeah, sadly, that seems like <laughs> seems like him the few times we've seen him. Interact with him. Yeah. And again, another completely unlikely one is, well, Mom. Because then the only time we saw her, she seemed to know about, at least according to her Kennymon, she knew about Gamma Mon, all the things that were going on. Why would she know that? I never saw Hero tell her. Dad's in the digital world, so unless she's talking to him in the digital world, and yeah. she told Aro Kenimon all about, you know, Hero and Yamamon, and so did she send him there as an assassin to get rid of them because he could be in her way? Again, I doubt, doubt it. it is, but it'd be kind of fun if it was. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I think this next one's only in our head canon. Because of what's been happening, but it'd be a, it'd be quite interesting if it was Black Ottoman. Yes, because she has been gathering up all of these. All different... the bad guys who are gonna take him back. She's back. She's she's back. Had them all. She, she... Splashmon, Nanomon. Uh, yeah, Emra guy. Dinmon, Musiamon. Yeah, whole bunch of them. Because <laughs> so she, she'd be gathering up an army. <laughs> she could have quite quite the bit. Again, she's helped enough that it. Seems highly unlikely, unless that's what she wants you to think. Yes. <laughs> Metal Phantom on in a can. Yeah. But again, I'm ultimate at this point. Of... <laughs> yeah. Not that big and scary. 
But again, she doesn't. It doesn't seem like she's Hokuto's partner. So, no. Again, unless it's loosely tied, like uh, Espimon is to him. another partner. Maybe, yeah. But no, it doesn't feel that way. Then we also have again the Digimon we just met last episode, Bloom Lordmon. Doesn't seem the villain type. No. He, he, again, he seems just the guardian or something like that. And I mean, it looks like we have you know a big fight with him. But I we had a big fight with you know Clavis Anjuman, you know <laughs> this season we've had big fights with not the villain so far. I, I I don't think he'd be the pan ultimate or the ultimate villain <laughs> at the end. But I mean. That would at least give you two episodes to build them up, so, you know, maybe it might be better than what we do get. Another highly unlikely one, but, you know, it kind of fit this, given everything, is Analog Man. As one, you have no idea he's coming, <laughs> which is kind of his M.O. in all three games he's been in. Yep. And do he's doing the releasing corrupting things that corrupt Digimon, that's kind of his M.O. too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Forcing them to forget, to grow evil, to turn to more powerful Digimon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the corruption does sound like does sound like something he would do. do. Again, he's only been in the game, so if you've only watched the anime, you have no idea who we're talking about. That's fine. There's actually very little known about him, despite yeah. how, much, how much he's shown up. Actually, <sighs> either coming out of nowhere really describes him. Mm -hmm. so, and one more predictable bad, he is Hokuto himself. Yeah. yeah. Again, I don't, I don't think, think so, but... He gave us quite the face here at the end, <laughs> end of the last episode. Well, his end of the last episode. Okay. Last we saw of him in last episode. Yeah. I, mean, I assume he's just making some plan to try and figure out another way back there or something. But <laughs> I don't put much past him right now. <laughs> yeah, there's so little... Seems like everything we knew about him was kind of proven wrong last episode, so... Yeah. Because if he doesn't know how to make digivices and things like that, he suddenly seems like much less of a possible threat. Yeah. So moving a little more into things that have been seen a little more, there's the people that we keep referring to as the generals. Whenever Ghoulish shows up, we have seen a black Agumon, a black Graumon. I think it's just a regular Garmamon. But maybe green, maybe black Agumon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's too much in shadow. I'm not, I'm not sure on that one. And I mean, at this point, freaking two champions and a rookie, yeah. whatever, you know. But, you know, if they turn out to, you know, go into black, black Mach Gargamon, Gargamon? Saint Gargamon. Saint this Gargamon, is, This yeah. is Japanese, well, I actually don't remember his English. He, yeah. Chaos Gallantmon and Black War Raymon. Okay, now we're, you know, now we're talking. Because they've been consistent to keep showing up when he shows up. Unless we saw them, they were in the human world. Oh. And we're in the digital world now, so... So, yeah. Because, I mean, Gulis kind of showed up last episode, but not fully, so he yeah. wasn't surprised to not see them. So... What's what's the deal with them? Yeah. Is I there a deal? I assume, if anything, they're just flunkies. They're... <laughs> they're not the actual one, but... They've been around enough. Yep, and this way around the topic, other ones that could come back and be interesting. I think the Antilamon could be extremely interesting to somehow use in the in a couple episodes. Oh, I mean... How insanely overpowered their ability is. Oh, yeah, you could do anything you want with that. There's, They really put no limits on themselves in that episode, so... <laughs> you can make new digivices, you could make a gate... You, can, you, know, you could device for making the gate, yeah. yeah. You can make just about anything. Digifruit, yeah. I mean, there's, if we're going through returning, there's Myotismon, because he was just, he wasn't deleted, pretty much nobody yeah. was in this season. Metadormon. And his Metadormon and Single Outmon. He said he had a whole, you know, world of vampires and an army and all that stuff, so, okay. And, uh, I mean, we have Myotismon coming out of nowhere <laughs> to be the final villain before. Don't talk about that season. <laughs> Well, you could even have Dagomon again, because I think he was sent back to the digital world. Yeah, but but then it disappeared, but it was there. But it wasn't, so. it didn't disappear, yeah. I mean, they could have accidentally sent him back to the Dark Ocean, because mm -hmm. that's usually kind of where he hangs out, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's possible that's where he's on instead, but we haven't touched on Amiel, so that's not true. We touched on Never Neverland, Neverland so. Yes. Well, maybe it is. But again, this 
Maybe he'll show up again. I doubt it. Yeah. But I mean, Felisman had his whole invading army. Yeah. And, I mean, again, it's an ultimate and some champions, but... Well, considering almost every Digimon is now in the real world, wouldn't they have come anyway? Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess he didn't bother, bother invading anymore. <laughs> they invaded now. They really did invade now, yeah. <laughs> yeah apparently. Just nobody cares, apparently. Little mom could easily appear again. She can create her own gates. Oh, yeah, yeah. Especially if we end up in, like, the current, near the kennel zone or something where it's guarded by angels. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, and she's very, she was very much annoyed at this voice and seemed like you, <clears throat> if she could want to take... <laughs> Back it around, so... Back it around, whatever it is, yeah. Another random people, did you mind that it seemed that they should be really important, but really have not been? I don't know. House Gamamon? Lens and Gamamon. Because he's special. He can do these things. He can make these three different champion forms. Maybe, maybe four. Or... Yeah. We'll see how that one do. But so what? Nothing's come of it. Yeah, the, the coolest thing they did was in one episode where he kept bouncing back and forth, which you didn't get that hard to back up that easy, but. Yeah. If you could slide evolution between them, you know, that'd be kind of cool. But no, they're just kind of there. <laughs> Didn't do anything that creative with them, and they're champions. So what is he going to do with them? <laughs> yeah. They didn't each lead to their own three lines or anything. No. We'll see if we can next place down that, but that's my list, and I'm sure this video's long yep. enough already. We're running out of time. But the most obvious villain oh, yeah, of all okay. of them true, true. is Gulas. <laughs> yes. It seems to be what they're building up to. But how? Why? Is he going to sync with Hero and that turns Hero evil <laughs> and suddenly... <laughs> yeah, we'll be able to find out by syncing suddenly a big deal. Yeah, because yeah. it happens all the time and no one else seems to care. Yeah, and he synced and made Espimon of all, like, because Espimon asked him to. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Pretty much, so yeah. Sink to Jellymon, it's a... And he only tr I think he tried sinking with Ghoulis once at the beginning and it hurt him. He didn't like yeah, he didn't like the feel. So But I mean Ghoulis didn't like any of these Digimon that were corrupted, including the Rafless not Raf not Raffless Mon. Uh <laughs> yeah, that one, thank you. <laughs> oh Power Lady. <laughs> yeah. Not Lotusmon, not <laughs> Rosemon. <laughs> yeah, her. Yeah, he didn't like her, didn't want to work with her at all. He doesn't work with evil people. <laughs> no. <laughs> We've seen this. So. Like he's usually very annoyed with their antics. Yeah. But he's the most obvious. So I, d I don't. <laughs> I do not know. Yes. But this has been all of. Our ideas. I mean, we could go an even more really obscure one. Yeah, you know. I mean, you know, Millennium Mon could wake up again yeah. and become what he's really supposed to be. Yeah, and make Crackmon could come back and hate them. And, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but, 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 but yeah. Okay, I probably thought, like, I would assume Z Millennium Mon was more likely the mom being the final boss, but. Yes. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed, and if you have any other ideas of who you yes. think these voices or villains are, let us know down in the comments below. And we'll have a whole argument of what it is, because we sounds like we have a couple weeks before we'll know. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Remember, stay safe in these strange times. Until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.